Um, and now for my thank you video. Um, let's get started. Before I even thank anybody um, in specific, um, Susan Collins uh, released her thank you statement towards everyone involved in the franchise and um, a lot of her thoughts and her thank yous um, are definitely a lot um, of the same things that I sort of feel so I'm gonna put the link down below for that and you guys can go and read her thank you because it's really beautiful and kind of basically how I was gonna um, thank everybody involved uh, in this video so uh, go check that out and read that in the link below and uh, yeah Alright, so first of all, um, I think it's best that we thank our directors, uh, Francis Lawrence and Gary Ross. They were two amazing directors and really knew um, how to keep the book and the movie um, two separate things, but also make sure that um, they're faithful to each other. And I think that's a really like, important um, idea to encompass, and they've done so much work for this franchise, and they deserve so much respect for what they do. Uh, so thank you to both of them. Um, and to Nina Jacobson and John Kilk, our producers, um, they uh, did an awesome, awesome job with this film as well. And they, of course, put in so much work and effort into making this special. And especially um, Nina, who's been, like, definitely going out and talking with all the fans and being, like, sort of a mom to all these fans, I guess I'd say. Um, so thank you so much to her because, um, you know, it's amazing what she does. And then we have... Um, our makeup artist, V. Neal, um, Effie Trinket especially, um, like all the people that she has to do hair and makeup for and that includes like extras and like all the uh, actual cast and then you have Effie Trinket herself who has all this like extreme complex makeup, um, especially in the Hunger Games and Catching Fire so she has a lot of the complex makeup stuff to go through and um, you got, then you have like all the extras who are playing capital citizen capital citizens that need a lot of crazy wigs and hair and makeup and stuff. So, I mean, the amount of time that her and all of her staff have put into um, doing makeup for this movie and making it look so beautiful and so unique, um, and costumes and everything, everyone involved in all of that, um, totally deserves a thank you because, I mean, like, if you just were to have everybody, you know, sort of very plain and very, like, insignificant, you know, it wouldn't make the film as great as it is. So having all, like, those pretty colors and flashy things, you know, really kind of in an essence sums up who the capital um the capital people are and she has definitely a very important job so her and everyone involved on her team with hair and makeup and costumes and um all of that good stuff deserve a huge thank you and then of course there's other people who do all of the uh camera work so they're the people who are sitting outside in the freezing cold and taking their camera and just running these shots um, of all these actors, which is super, super crazy, um, and they're the reason that a lot of the shots, you look at them, and you're like, this is so real, and this is so beautiful, that's the work that they've done, so huge thank you to them, and then all the people who are writing the scripts and keeping the dialogue from the book, um, to the movie, keeping it all accurate and keeping it all very consistent, uh, it's super, super important, and, um, they cannot be forgotten, because, I mean, the consistency and one of the reasons why you're sitting there and you're like, okay, why isn't this consistent with a lot of movies? You know, the people who wrote these scripts made sure of that, and that's super, super important. So thank you to all the people who write the scripts and do all the camera shots and everything. Super, super important. And then we have all the people who do the sets and the decorating and um, all of that, and that's super important because, you know, if you just have a plan location, you don't have anything. So all the people who do, like, accessorizing the sets, and, like, if they're just putting a vase somewhere, or picking out a vase, or, like, picking out the white roses especially, because those are definitely very important. Um, and the people who, like, figure out the, um, shooting locations, like, where to shoot certain things, and how they help customize, like, the set. That is super, super important, and I cannot be more thankful to them. So, huge thank you to everyone involved in doing the sets and um, doing all the props for sets. And then, of course, there's our special effects people. Um, these people put in so much time and effort to what they do, and their job is so important because you wouldn't have, like, any of your mutts throughout um, the franchise, and you wouldn't have, like, the black goo and the Hunger Games uh, Mockingjay Part 2. You wouldn't have it in Part 2, and... There's all the special effects stuff, and especially, like, positioning and everything. Like, you think a character is close to fire, but they're not. You know, all that positioning and stuff. It looks so real, and um, the special effects people do a really great job of scaring the hell out of you because you have no idea when the mutts are going to come out. Um, and so, yeah, they do a really, really awesome job with that. Um, and, like, the welts and everything, too. Like, all, I mean, everything. 
um, special effects wise is like so important to these films and all the people who put their time and effort into that deserve a huge, huge, huge round of applause because the work that they do definitely contributes to um, what you see on screen and they deserve so much more credit than what they get. Another important guy I had to thank is Tim Palin, and he's done a lot of the photography um, for these films, so a lot of the um, character posters you see, and, um, well, I mean, basically any poster you see, like the IMAX posters, a lot of that stuff was photographed by Tim, and all of that stuff is super, super beautiful, and is so just wow, and I mean, it really kind of contributes to how you first look at the film, because one of the things that is first advertised are these character posters, or just these, you know, movie posters themselves. So having a guy like Tim, who's so good at his job and makes these um, posters so beautiful and so unique and really, like, kind of draw draws you into this film if you're somebody who hasn't read the book, you know, and you need a reason to actually go and see it. You know, those character posters and the movie posters themselves are so beautiful and they're really something that draws you in. And Tim did an awesome job of that, so thank you, Tim. And then there's all the people who do marketing and stuff, like the people who are going and, like, putting the um, posters on billboards and the people who did, like, the Capitol website and do all of, like, the marketing and the promotions and, like, the people who set up the Best Buy stuff and... Um, all those people who basically try to sell the film to you. That is super important because you can't have a successful film unless you have an audience. So all the people that are um, really reeling us in with all that promotional stuff are super, super important because um, that's how the film makes it success. So huge thank you to all of them. Then we have to thank everyone at Scholastic because they're the reasons that these books are sort of out there for us to have read and, um, you know, if we read them, then, um, you know, Francis read them, Nina read them, you know, all the people who are involved in, like, originally um, starting up this film, you know, read these books and were intrigued by them, and that's the reason why we have the movies. So, um, huge thank you to everyone involved in First Scholastic for putting these books out there. Um, uh, the kind of a lot of this is due to you, so thank you. And then, of course, there's all the people at Lionsgate who have put their time and effort into um, setting this film up and the people um, who actually, you know, adopted the movies and took them in because you could have had a totally different outcome if a uh, different uh, company wanted to produce these movies. So thank you to Lionsgate, um, everyone involved in um, the um, Hunger Games movie franchise under Lionsgate for all the work that you do. And then, of course, our most important thank yous. Uh, a huge thank you to all the actors who have portrayed our characters so beautifully and so amazingly. And that includes Katniss herself. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence did an awesome job with being the leader of this whole entire rebellion and this whole entire world. And she really makes you believe in Katniss and what she's going through. And that's so, so important. And I couldn't have imagined anyone else being Katniss. And even though a lot of people didn't believe in Jennifer Lawrence at first, I think that she slayed them all. And I could not be proud, more proud of her being Katniss. And, of course, Josh and Liam, who were an amazing Peta and Gail, and did an awesome job at portraying the characters. And, you know, everybody else who ever had a small part in acting in this film, whether you were an extra or... Um, whether your character was only in the film for the first movie or whether your character is someone like Finnick or um, Prim, you know, everybody who was involved in acting in this film. And even if you said one line or if you said ten, you know, everybody who's been in this film from start to finish, thank you so, so much. And our final thank you goes to, of course, the woman herself who made all of this possible, Suzanne Collins. Um... Her stories have been so captivating and have changed so many people. And, you know, without these stories, you wouldn't have the books themselves, obviously, and you wouldn't have the movies, and you wouldn't have, like, all of these um, magazines, like, all of this stuff, and all of the posters, and all of the pins. You know, none of this would be existent without her and her creativity and her deciding to sit down and write about this world and I could not be more thankful to her for that because this is a world that I've come to love so much and so many people have come to love and you know I can't believe that it's over but it's been an amazing amazing ride and Suzanne like really you know is the leader and the head of all of this and my thanks could not be more big towards her because none of this at all would be possible without the person who's decided to sit down and write um, so thank you, Suzanne, for, um, creating just this beautiful world for all of your fans. Um, I love these stories, and they've changed me so much, and I couldn't be more thankful, um, 
for what you've done. And I grew up with these stories. They were sort of the first stories um, that um, really um, were the start of my, you know, growing up as a teenager, the first real young adult book I read that was really like real life and this is happening, you know, it wasn't, this was the first like mature book I ever really read and I couldn't think of a better way to have been opened into the stores of um, mature young adult books um, than reading The Hunger Games, so thank you. And then just a really brief and short thank you to everyone, anybody involved in this franchise, if there's somebody that I missed. Whether you were the person who put the images on the CDs, or you're the person who boxed the CDs, or um, you work at the store where the DVDs and all the merchandise is sold, or you're the creator of all the merchandise. Um, you know, if you just even, like, put, like, just did a finger of a thing, like, you just, like, did, had some involvement in this franchise in any way, shape, or form, um, whether you're the person that stacked the books on the shelves or stacked the DVDs on the shelves, whatever you did to help contribute to this franchise success, big or small, you are important and you have contributed to the success of this franchise and why it's lasted so long and why it's been so important in so many people's hearts. So thank you for all that you've done and of course all the fans who are making this film, this made this whole entire franchise a success by going and reading the books, by buying the DVDs, by buying the merchandise, you know, just by loving the franchise. And, yeah, and of course there's all the people who helped set up the premieres and did all of that. Um, if you laid down a red carpet, whatever you did to make this franchise important, there's millions and millions of people who had involvement of this, and of course I can't thank all of them, but um, the work you put into this franchise will not be forgotten. So, thank you, and... Um, I love this franchise and I can't imagine my life without it and um, thank you for all that you've done. Love you guys and um, wherever your roads lead you next, um, may the odds be ever in your favor.